Hi, and welcome back, everybody. I hope you all are having a great day out there. As we see the price of XRP pop here this morning, we just got some massive, great news. And guys, I want to get it out to you all in a timely fashion. Skipping the intro, we're getting straight into this one. Grayscale to launch first U.S. XRP trust, paving the way for potential ETF. Now, this came out of Fox Business. Also want to give a shout out to Eleanor Terra because I saw the price of XRP popping this morning. I said, what's going on? Saw that she put this on X, followed up and stating they put out on Fox. On Thursday morning, which is today, the company will announce the launch of U.S.'s first XRP Trust, a so-called closed-end fund. This is going to offer accredited investors direct exposure to XRP. This is absolutely huge, massive. This is exactly what we want as big institutional fund flows will now flow into XRP. The crypto token is a native coin that powers the blockchain we all know is the xrpl which facilitates cross-border uh transactions and other use cases of the blockchain ripple but they state a trust in an etf are two different investment products we understand or need to understand an etf must be approved by the sec which i've got a big story that just came out on that in just a moment stay with us but since it's marketed directly to retail investors that needs to be approved by the SEC, while the trust structure and sales pitch to so-called accredited investors gets a lighter regulatory touch. Now, Grayscale put out here today on X, we are proud to announce the creation of a new single asset crypto investment fund, Grayscale XRP Trust, which will be available through private placement available to eligible accredited investors. This is absolutely massive, but check this out, guys. This came in here today too, and I wanna get this out to you in a timely fashion. Just in SEC's chairman, Mr. Gary Gensler, is currently being investigated by prominent Republican lawmakers, including representatives Jim Jordan, Patrick McHenry, James Comer. We know these individuals are high up and they also can't stand Gary Gensler for potential political bias and his hiring practices. Game over SEC. What this tells me is they've been just watching and waiting for him to make a, a misstep and now they are pouncing on him. As you can see the letter to Congress here, guys, big stuff coming out on this Thursday morning, you go through slumps, you go through slow, hard times, right? And then boom, we see things come out like this and it's absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, guys, I'm gonna give you more details and facts around regarding what's going on here later today, but I wanna be the first to get this out to you all in a quick, timely fashion. If you don't mind clicking on the notification bells so you can get these uh, updates in a timely fashion, that would, I would really appreciate it because I know sometimes my content doesn't get seen. I've even heard that folks uh, are are getting unsubscribed or their notifications turned off. I don't know what's going on, but make sure you do have the notification bells on as well as, of course, subscribing. We get you out a lot of content on the community tab, a lot of updates as well. That's all I ever ask, guys. If you don't mind clicking the like button, sharing this content far, far and wide, greatly appreciate you all. Appreciate the support. We'll see you all in the next one.